Let's face it, we all love trying to play detective and solve the biggest riddles in our favorite mystery shows. So in this video, we'll be talking about the 10 best mystery TV shows to binge watch. You'll want to stick around to the end to see which show will test your detective skills the most and possibly have you questioning your significant other. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments what mystery series are binge-worthy. Let's get started. Who Killed Sarah? Netflix Sarah! With only a simple question to its title, this Spanish Netflix series became one of the streaming platform's most popular mystery shows. After being framed and sent to prison for 18 years by the wealthy and powerful Lizcano family for his sister's death, Alex is released and sets out to discover the truth and get revenge. This message is for the Lascanos. I'm not the same fool you sent off to prison 18 years ago. Now your family will have to suffer. As of today, you won't get another good night's sleep. Whether it be fathers sleeping and impregnating the girlfriends and wives of their sons, or the multiple mysteries that keep arising regarding Sarah's death, this show will have you viewing everyone as a suspect throughout both seasons. With the revelation in the season 2 finale that Sarah's death may actually be tied to a much larger conspiracy, fans are eagerly anticipating the release of the already confirmed third season. The Sinner Netflix Originally planned as a miniseries, The Sinner grabbed so much national attention after its first season, which starred Jessica Biel, that it became a hit anthology series with now four seasons. In each season, we see Detective Harry Ambrose, played by Bill Pullman, have to investigate and figure out why seemingly ordinary people would commit heinous murders. No interaction with him before today. I've never met him before in my life. Then why kill him? Whether it be a traumatized woman randomly stabbing a stranger to death in season one, or a child from a cult being accused of murdering two people, each season will leave you shell-shocked. While Detective Ambrose does a great job of leading the series as the main character, the real standouts are the new supporting casts in each season that manage to propel the story even more. The fact that this is an anthology series means that you have the liberty of starting off with the best season, in our opinion, being season 2 or even season 1. Defending Jacob – Apple TV Chris Evans stars as Andy Barber an assistant district attorney who must decide between upholding the law or breaking it to save his son from being convicted of murder. A book adaptation authored by William Landay, the series does a great job of differentiating itself that many fans say helped improve the story. The performance of Jaden Martell was the highlight of the show, as his performance of the creepy Jacob Barber had viewers questioning his character's innocence after being connected to two brutal murders. The finale will have viewers split on choosing whether or not Andy's lack of empathy or emotions to a situation was an indicator of his guilt or if he was just a social recluse. Joking about being a murder suspect? It's not like anyone even knows who it is. Everybody knows! How do you think I know? Andy, calm down. This is damaging. This is evidence. And you're either too stupid or too arrogant to know the difference. I'm not stupid. Then what's wrong with you? This miniseries hit does a fantastic and realistic job of showing just how far parents are willing to go for their kids, even if they're suspected of murder. The Chestnut Man, Netflix Based on the book written by Soren Sveistrup, this Netflix series follows two Danish detectives, Naya Thulin and Mark Hass, as they must try and stop a psychopathic serial killer who only kills unfit mothers and leaves behind a small doll made of chestnuts. The case takes a very dramatic turn when the fingerprints found on one of the dolls belong to a politician's daughter who was abducted years ago and never found. The amount of mystery and intrigue that was in every episode is rare to find, especially in a noir series. As for the big reveal of the killer, we have to say that unless you are a true crime detective or crime junkie, the discovery will throw you for a loop. While the series may have the least amount of episodes on this list, with only six, it is by far the most disturbing show. Russian Doll – Netflix Anytime Natasha Lyonne is on a show, you can guarantee it will be a great watch. And none more so than her very own written, directed, and starred in the Netflix series Russian Doll. It follows Nadia, a New Yorker who is forced to die and come back to relive the worst day of her life, her 36th birthday, over and over again. 
Unlike almost every show on this list, instead of dealing with solving a murder, Nadia and Alan, who is also reliving the same day, have to figure out how they got put in the time loop and how to get out. Dealing with very heavy topics such as mental illness and suicide, the show does a great job of demonstrating how one person who has or is currently dealing with depression or trauma can also be a great support system for someone else feeling the same way. This guy right here can maintain erections like few men I've known, all right? And you're gonna miss out on all that. So meditate on that. Manifest, Netflix. When Manifest was on its dying legs at NBC, it got the Netflix blessing other shows such as Lucifer have received and got saved by being picked up after its network cancellation. After five and a half years of being gone and believed to be dead, Flight 828 reappeared with all the passengers not aging a single day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your plane departed Montego Bay, Jamaica on April 7, 2013. Today is November 4th, 2018. We've all been missing, presumed dead for five and a half years. As if that wasn't mysterious enough, some of the passengers began to experience visions of the future and hear whispers, none more so than a young boy named Cal. The show revolves around finding how these visions and whispers lead to solving multiple cases, such as finding two kidnapped little girls, where they came from, and where exactly Flight 828 disappeared to. It's mostly Ben and Dr. Sanvi doing the figuring everything out, but regardless, the combination of cliffhangers and the intriguing story makes Manifest a sure-to-be-binged-on show. Clickbait, Netflix. When respected family man Nick Brewer is kidnapped and put on a video claiming that he is not only a cheater, but also an abuser, and that at 5 million views he will die, It's up to his family and detectives to piece together the whole truth. While watching, you will think that you managed to piece together this elaborate puzzle, except after every episode, it just becomes more complex and difficult to figure out. No matter how many mystery series you have watched or how good you think your deductive skills are, we can guarantee that you will not be able to guess the true antagonist. With only one season that consists of eight fast-paced episodes, Clickbait is a quick, bingeable show that is bound to leave a lasting impression. Only Murders in the Building Hulu One of the very few comedy murder mysteries, this Hulu original may have become one of the best overall shows of 2021. The series follows three complete strangers, played by Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez, whose similar fascination with murder mysteries leads them to team up and solve a real murder in their apartment complex. While the combination of Gomez with Martin and Short may seem odd, it was Selena's great performance of her character Mabel that made her a fan favorite. Strawberry lube. Oh wait, that gave you a reaction last time. Uh, We've got bubblegum lube. Perfect, we'll take that. And some ginseng and Spanish fly. Uh, also, what size condoms do you have? You need slim fit. Extra long, we don't want it to fall off again. The show does a great job of giving us misleading clues and the much-needed curveballs throughout the 10 episodes. But it also manages to conclude one mystery in the season one finale, and set up for a much bigger one in the already confirmed second season. Sharp Objects, Hulu. Carmel Praker, played by Amy Adams in her first major role on the small screen, is an alcoholic journalist that deals with family trauma and self-harming. When she is sent back to her hometown on an assignment to investigate a potential serial killer, it leads to her having to face the same triggers that led to her destructive and harmful behavior, such as the death of her younger sister. Mama, 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 mama! After investigating the murder, she comes across a startling possibility that her Southern Belle mother and stepfather may have a connection to many murder cases. What makes this show stand out is not just the amount of curveballs, that include a mother suffering from Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Munchausen's by proxy, on the other hand, is when you make someone else sick so you can care for them, so you can save them, or try, be seen trying. But it's how the writers go about showing the different types of trauma and how people deal with it in alternative ways. Even though it was released in 2018 and is still considered a great show, it doesn't appear that there will be a second season. The Stranger, Netflix. Based on Harlan Corbin's book, this British Netflix series focuses on family man Adam Price, 
whose life is turned upside down when a mysterious woman, known as the Stranger, tells him that his wife had a miscarriage two years ago and that she faked her entire pregnancy. You didn't have to stay with her, you know? Do I know you? She told you she was pregnant and then she lost the baby. She made it up, she was never pregnant. Not only does the Stranger's reveal lead to Adam finding out that she wasn't lying, it sets off a series of events in his life that are all but unnerving, such as becoming the prime suspect after his wife's disappearance. Adam, however, is just one of the people that the stranger routinely pops up on to blackmail about their or another family member's indiscretions. As the viewer, we are left debating on who the actual bad guy is when some of these people's secrets are revealed. Penn Badgley's Joe Goldberg from You may hold the title for best stalker, but the stranger may just be the most destructive. Do you agree with our list? Check out these other videos from Idiot Box Review and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when a new video is posted to the channel.